If your Chromecast has a problem, I'll solve it. Check out the beat. what, no. If you're having issues with your Chromecast, let's see if we can troubleshoot those. Maybe it's bugging out on you. Maybe it's not connecting to the internet properly. Maybe it's just acting a little bit slow. Whatever the problem is, I'll give you a few tips for getting your Chromecast back up and running, no matter which model you have, kind of. Fair warning, my last bit of advice is gonna be maybe get a new Chromecast, <laughs> but we'll see. If your Chromecast is running, but it doesn't seem to be connecting right, the titles aren't playing, whatever, it may be a connectivity issue with your internet. So the first bit of advice will be to check your internet connection. And I know this sounds really basic. Believe me, we're just starting with the basics here, but check your phone, check your tablet, check your computer. Are other devices running on the internet? If not, maybe your internet's down. Okay, assuming that's not the problem, your internet's working, but it's still not connecting. The Chromecast isn't connecting to the internet then it may be a password issue. Did you recently change your password? Did you get a new router? Did something change along those lines because your Chromecast does connect to your internet with your internet password? So if you've updated that recently, yeah, you're gonna need to update that on your Chromecast as well. And you do that through the Google Home app. I'm not gonna go through every minute bit of the process here, but just go to your Google Home app, go to that device, check the settings, and you can update the password there. Once that's done, if it's still not working, then you may need to check your modem or router itself. And in this case, it may be down to a quick reset. Yeah, turn it off and turn it back on again. You'd be shocked how often that is actually the right bit of advice. So yeah, go to your router, unplug it, wait a few seconds, plug it back in, give it a chance to reconnect. That may solve your connectivity issues with your Chromecast as well. Seriously, turn it off, turn it back on again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm 65% qualified for a job in corporate IT now. Thank you very much. IT departments, give me a call. Speaking of resetting things, let's move from the router over to the Chromecast itself. You may need to just reset the Chromecast. If you have a first or second or third gen Chromecast, then they have a button on the device itself that you can press to do the reset. If you have a Chromecast with Google TV, then with that one, you can go into the settings menu in the operating system. So with your remote control, go to the settings menu, go to system, and there's a restart button there. So that's one type of reset. That's what's called a hard reset. It's just turning the device off and then turning it on again. Pretty simple. But it may be the case that you need to do a factory reset. That's where you wipe the device entirely clean, uh, make it just like it was when you took it out of the box. That's a factory reset. And the way to do that with each of these devices, including the newest one, the Chromecast with Google TV, is to simply find the button on the device itself, long hold that for about 10 seconds until the device starts blinking. There's a little LED light on there that'll start blinking. So you hold it for about 10 seconds, release it, and then voila, it will completely wipe the device clean. You'll have to go through the setup process again, go through all the Wi-Fi stuff, put in your password, all that in the Google Home app, but that may take care of the issue for you. If you've done all that and you're able to get it to work, but it's still not quite up to par, it's not at the speed that you want it to be, it's playing your stuff, but you're getting a lot of buffering wheels, that sort of thing, then you may want to try an ethernet adapter. And yeah, this does exist for Chromecast. In fact, Google sells one for 20 bucks. You can get it on their website, now there will be other ones out there that you can probably get cheaper than that, but if you get the Google one, it's kind of one of those things where you know it's gonna work, you know it's gonna be compatible. But if you're rocking an older Chromecast and you're about to drop 20 bucks on an ethernet adapter, then might I suggest upgrading. I don't even have my first gen anymore, it went into the dustbin a long time ago. But I do still have my third gen Chromecast and it's fine, it still works perfectly fine, However, when I upgraded to the Chromecast with Google TV, ah, yeah, my life kind of changed. I like this one a lot better. It does everything that the old one asked, plus a lot more, gives you menus, a remote control, that sort of thing, and it has updated and upgraded Wi-Fi and other hardware capabilities, so you may have better luck if you simply upgrade to a new device. Now, the 4K version of this new Chromecast with Google TV goes for 50 bucks right now, but they just came out with an HD version. If you don't need 4K, you don't need Dolby Atmos, all that stuff, there's a 1080p version that they just started selling for 30 bucks. And if even that seems like overkill, then I will say this, if you still have your first or second gen Chromecast, yeah, it's kind of a brick these days. It might still work, but it's not gonna work reliably. Google is not supporting it very much anymore. So you may still wanna upgrade to at least the third gen and you can still get these for about 20 bucks. 
We'll see how long that lasts, but yeah, for now you can still get them. All right, so if you're having Chromecast issues, hopefully something in this video helped you out. This is a question that I get fairly frequently, but my friends over at Whistle Out said that they get this question a lot. So they asked me to tackle this one for them and I was happy to do so. So go check out Whistle Out if you haven't done so already. They're really great for all of your cell phone review needs. And on your way over there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel right here at reviews.org. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys next time.